Hey guys, I wanted to show you how I um, check the timing of either ports or ignition or whatever you want to check the timing on. Uh, a lot of guys will take a indicator rod and stick it through the hole, you know, and you know work the engine this way and that way or whatever and try and find where the center is. Um, I use a deadbolt, okay, and all this is, it's just a, uh, a spark plug, okay, and I, I made this a hundred years ago, so I don't even know, but I think all we did is knock out the porcelain, okay, and then a 3 8 16 tap uh, just works, it goes right through, and then I put a couple lock nuts and stuff so I could adjust the length of this depending on the motor that I'm using. So anyway, all you do is you take this, you know, stick it in the spark plug hole. Just snug it. And then just take, you know, your engine and roll it over one way and it'll, it should hit this. So we're going to go counterclockwise as we're looking at it. And there, I just hit that. I, I can, you can feel it's solid as a rock. Okay, so right there. And then I'm going to go the other way just for right now to see if I got this depth close. Uh, it's probably close. We're, you know, that many degrees roughly. So we're looking for the center. So now the next thing you do is, and I've got this course all set up and ready to go, but your degree wheel, okay? And I've got it fitted to here with this bushing, okay? Whoop, there we go. And put the nut on. Okay, now, now here's TDC. Now we know we're, we're kind of close to it. So I'm just going to go, you know, somewhere. I don't know. Well, I think I want to be on this side. There we go. Okay, so top dead center. I am to the right of it. So we're going to go the, just the other way. And this is still loose because I don't know where I'm at yet. Ah, okay, now we're to the left of it. And notice how far, we were like 20 degrees or something, this is 30. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to move this to about, I don't know, 25, I guess. That's a nice round number that I can remember. And then we'll go back the other way. And we got 23. Okay, so that's one degree different. Lucky. I'm going to go to 24. Excuse my head. There. I'm on 24. Go back the other way. And 24. Now, if my math serves me right, if I take the bolt out of here and go to top dead center, that's probably the top dead center, I'm guessing. I don't have to worry about the where the, the crank rolls over the, the eccentric, or, you know, where it rolls over the top. Um, it has to be, if I'm 23 this way and 23, excuse me, 24, this way and 24 that way, it has to be in the middle of that. I don't know if that makes any sense, but... So anyway, I'm going to snug this nut, double check my numbers. Okay, there we go. Okay, there I'm up again. I'm going to get a nice square look. I'm 24. Roll this way. And I try not to touch the wheel for obvious reasons. There. And 24. So now if I take the bolt out, we'll take the bolt out. I'm just going to bet big money that that's top dead center. But anyway, that's how I do it. Um, now I can pull the head, you know, and, and visually check my, my, my transfer port timing and the exhaust port and the intake and all that garbage. So, uh, and the ignition, if I was doing that, um, I did that on my H1 to see, you know, if the little tab was bent right and stuff, but the reference mark for top dead center. But anyway, okay, um, thanks.